in January 2021, I went down to the 10,000 Islands in Everglades National Park for the fourth time with the West Coast Trailer Sailing Squadron. The Everglades National Park is an area in southwest Florida that borders the Everglades. It essentially starts just south of Marco Island and goes all the way down to the Sable. While I had sailed in the area before, I had an idea for the trip where we'd focus on sailing a little longer distance. There is an expedition race from Tampa all the way to Key Largo called the Everglades Challenge, and it is a challenge. So I decided to call this one the Everglades Lack of Challenge. We all arrived in Goodland fairly early, and after an hour or so of prep, we were ready to go. On Monday, January 4th, just after 1 p.m., we're uh, approaching Panther uh, now. We had a little bit of a slow start, the wind was very light, uh, enough to push us along, but you know, two knots, two and a half, you know, three was fast. But uh, west wind is filled in here in the afternoon, and uh, it's uh, maybe northwest. I'm experimenting with uh, whisker pole today. I've had this for a while, I just haven't really used it. I knew we were going to be doing, uh, that we'd be doing a lot of downwind sailing, so I thought I'd uh, bring it with today. And uh, it's helping, I think, uh, both with speed, but you know, also it's just stopping the jig from flapping around. We all started out well, though the wind died a bit. But by 12.30, the sea breeze came in and the wind shifted northwest fairly strong, and we had no problem making good way for Pavilion Key. We ended up getting there by 4.30, plenty of sunlight left in the day. We set up for the evening, cooked our meals, and turned in early. The next morning we got up. Our goal was to make it all the way down to Shark River. The wind was blowing out of the northwest, uh, switching to northeast, so we were going to be able to make good time. Uh, we had a great night at Pavilion last night after a really nice sail down there, especially in the afternoon. I woke up this morning with north winds uh, 10 to 15. Um, we are now headed uh, south, southeast. Uh, we're going to make a little Shark River today, even though it's about 25 miles away. It's a broad reach all the way down there, and god darn, I don't think we're dropping below five knots. Uh, at all this morning, so we're making a great time. We'll probably get down there, oh no, later than 2, maybe even as early as 1.30. It's uh, right at 2 o'clock, and that up ahead is the entrance to Little Shark River. So I'm going to only do a short little video here showing the approach. But again, we've had another glorious downwind run all the way from Pavilion this morning just after oh, about 8.15. 8, and uh, we're getting here now at two, so that's a nice run. Um, with luck, the wind is supposed to switch from the northwest to the northeast and east and southeast, uh, kind of Wednesday and Thursday. So we'll probably be taking advantage of those winds to take us back. Uh, such a great trip so far. Really looking forward to the rest of it. Right now, though, I got to work through everything I need to do to get in. All right, take care. The entrance to Little Shark was beautiful. Most of us couldn't stop sailing, it was so nice in there. But eventually we dropped the hook, got ready for the evening, had our dinners, and went to bed, and waited for the next day. And it's just before 7 a.m. Sun's about to come up over there. And we are still in uh, the beautiful uh, entrance to Little Shark River here on the extreme southwest coast of Florida. I got up uh, before sunrise and put the bed away, made some breakfast, and drinking my coffee. So be able to break down here and be ready for an early start today. So today we're gonna spend maybe the first half of the day exploring uh, down here 
in uh, Oyster and Whitewater Bay, kind of all the little channels here and some of the open water, and then uh, start our way back north. Uh, we've got two or three destinations uh, picked out, different levels farther north, and we'll just see which one we get to. Anyway, there's an update. This is day three for us, and we are now uh, tacking up the Little Shark River, at least uh, Tom and Craig and I are. There's Craig, and there's Tom. And uh, it's just so lovely back here. This is really an amazing place. Just thought I'd share a little bit of content with you. We tack up. Just amazing trees. Beautiful day. Little creeks going off to the side, but very inviting, especially if you're a kayak. And uh, this time of year, with the wind and the cooler weather, we've been spared the bugs nearly 100%. The tide was falling as we went up the river, and the outgoing current got stronger and stronger till we could barely make progress. So we decided to turn around go back out into the golf and start heading north. We headed into Highland Beach for a short break. We walked along the shore to look at a sailboat we saw washed up, and after brief inspection, got back underway to Lostman's River. We just left Highlands Beach, uh, beat off the lee shore there, didn't have too much trouble. We're going to go around the point here uh, to Lostman's River and uh, look for a place to anchor and spend the night there. Uh, again, just a third beautiful day in a row. We had some uh, doldrums. Oh, for an hour and a half or two hours uh, early in the day, but uh, the afternoon sea breeze filled in around noon, 1230, and we've had great sailing since. We got into Lostman's with the sun low in the sky. It made for a couple of beautiful pictures. We went up into First Bay, dropped the hook, and went down for the night. It's Thursday, January 7th, 2021, 10.15 in the morning. We all left Lost Man's River, uh, first bay this morning, between 8 and 8.30. Craig got an early start. Tom and I have been kind of exploring the little coves and beaches up uh, from Lost Man's up this way. But now I'm on this beautiful run, wing on wing. Again, we're averaging, oh, probably close to five knots average. And uh, we're making lots of northward progress today. And there's a little concern about the weather changing uh, tomorrow. So we want to get pretty far north. I think we'll get at least as far as, uh, well, I know we'll make pavilion. We'll come up and soon be probably farther north, like Picnic and Tiger. Uh, if not, uh, Kingston. But again, another glorious day. We've had great weather, and we've kind of played the winds just right. That we've had fair winds uh, bringing us south, and now fair winds bringing us back north. We took a short break on pavilion for lunch and decided to go up to Kingston Key uh, and wait for the front to go through. Coming up to Kingston Key on Thursday, it's 2 in the afternoon, we'll be there about 2.45. We are just flying up the dock here. Kingston Key made for a very protected anchorage, and when the front did come through at 2 o'clock, we were very protected that one boat did drag. In the morning, though the wind had shifted to the northwest, it was light, so we decided to tack up the bay. We got the panther around lunchtime, and after lunch on the beach, decided to go up for a sail through the mangrove. Okay, there's a cut that uh, cuts Panther Key in half, and I've always wondered whether you could sail it or not. Well, we're going to find out. The wind's right behind us, so that's great pushing us along. 
We're also on a rising tide, which gives me a little bit more uh, courage, <laughs> but it's iffy. I've seen a couple power boats come through fairly large, so I think that there's probably enough water in room. This is the skinniest part here, I think, so if we're through here, I think that There's only about uh, 40 feet wide here. So far, no problems at all. But I'm gonna go pay attention. When we finished our trip through the mangroves, we decided to stay at the beach that we had eaten lunch at. Shortly after, uh, JF and Simon showed up. We were happy to see them. That night we had a big fire on the beach, and the next day we decided to take the circuitous mangrove route to what eventually would be Turtle Key. The winds were gusty and shifty as we wound our ways through the mangroves, but none of us were overpowered. It was really quite fun. Eventually we stopped at a little key just north of Turtle Key. It seemed to be a nice protected beach. We set up for the evening, put our tents up, had our dinner, and then made a fire for the night. The next day, the winds shifted to the northeast and weren't too strong. It made for a very easy, pleasant run back to Goodman. We were able to pack up our boats, and before we left, have a nice lunch at a local restaurant. After saying our goodbyes, we all drove home and dreamed about the time we could return to the 10,000 Islands. This was truly a great trip.